Hey, Bud and Mary's fans, this is Jamie. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, as you can see, ours got off to a great start. We had amazing weather and even better fishing. So let's get into the report. Yeah, fishing was pretty good today. A bunch of snooks out there. A handful of red, snapper bites good. Jacks, trout, sharks, usual suspects. Uh, good fishing though. Nice weather, good fishing. How is the how are the seas now that the, the wind is laid down? Oh, finally. It's getting beautiful out there. It's getting nicer by the minute. Were there any birds back there or anything cool? Oh yeah, you saw some rosy spoonbills, some white pelicans, uh, no bald eagles today, but I have been seeing those periodically. Uh, plenty of ospreys, um, you know, turn seagulls and the usual stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff moving around back there right now. So what do you think? The fish is going to be hot for the next couple months, right? I think so. So it's time to get on yeah, down. Yeah, I feel here. a good season coming. It's time to get on down here and get yourself a boat, that's for sure. All right, dude. We'll see you next time. Yes, sir. All right, guys, I'm here with Mike Walter, and he runs the Spartan Fishing Charter, and uh, he just got back from his trip. How'd you do today, man? Uh, we did good. We had beautiful weather, so it allowed us to travel out to the Gulf of Mexico and uh, cover some water that we haven't been able to lately due to the wind, and uh, we found some really good fishing. The Spanish mackerel fishing was about as good as it gets. Giant Jack Carvels. Saw a few permit, couldn't, couldn't connect on them. The big bull shark. A bunch of trout, uh, triple tail. Overall, the weather was great and the fishing was even better. That's awesome, man. Sounds like you guys had a really good day out there. It was. It was a lot of fun. All right. Well, we appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Sounds good. Thank you. Hey, this is the cleanest Hell's Bay you guys are ever going to see. <laughs> it's Corey. What's up, guys? What's up, Corey? Oh, you know, just cleaning her up after a good day of fishing. You guys do on there, uh, we did great. We caught some Goliath groupers, some snooks, some redfish, and I uh, did lots of sight fishing. Bait was good. It was a good day for sure. For sure. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know, Corey has been working on the water damage, but just started his own business here, and it's called Native Sun. And this is his boat. This is business. You guys got to come back out wild and visit and go fishing with Corey. Come fishing, guys. Look at this skip. It is immaculate. Thank you, Corey. All right, thank you, guys. See you. Look at this, guys. This is a sight to see. Every single year, at this time of the year, we get sailfish. And it's always beautiful to see these boats coming in flying these flags. That means you knew they had a good day, and they caught sailfish. And look at this weather. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We got the whole crew coming in today. Great. Ah, it's Captain Glenn Miller and the Dom <laughs> Fishing. And Josh. Hey man, wait to see this box. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow. Big mud. Oh, and Mahi. Oh my goodness. It's November, guys. We made it happen. The day after Thanksgiving. Alright, guys, we have Captain Glenn Miller here, and he runs the town fishing, and uh, he got the job done today, guys. How was your day, man? It was awesome. Sell fish from the get go, then the bottom fish started biting. It was awesome. And it's been rough, what, for like the past month or so? been pretty rough but today was a beautiful day that's excellent man look what he caught guys how did you guys catch these were you guys using live bait uh yes sir excellent lots of live bait look at the size of that mutton what's up aiden hey i heard you were putting in the hard work today huh mm -hmm. look at that what is that giant mahi Wow, man. That's a big one. Good job, dude. Got some groupers. And I heard you were working today, huh? Working hard. How old are you, Aiden? Eleven. Eleven? You ever had a fish box like this before? Um, huh? I've had more in here before. Really? Very cool, man. Good job. That's a box. Hey, hey, you it up. We had a 300 pound marlin on today. He ate our tuna. It's 300 feet of water. Get out of here. Crazy, man. Crazy. Tail walking right behind the boat. How often does that happen? Never. Once in a, once every year. Wow, 30 pound dude. test. 
freaking amazing, man. What a sight. That's incredible, Dang, man. It looks like he ate our kingfish first and pinched his tail off. Look at this. See that? Yeah. Say, See we say a holy mackerel. It, it actually looks like... See that? That's not a shark. See that? Oh, it's all raked up and then it, they just pinch that tail off. I think that's what he had first. So they eat Remember kingfish. how we were like, what the hell did that? Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. so Pretty exciting. And I had my daughter with me today, Allie. Oh, she was taking. Allie, what's up? She was taking. Hi. Look at her. She's got a mouthful of ice cream. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so we always do fishing reports with Alex, but you don't know why? It's because he gets the job done every single time. We had a heck of a day. Should have seen the ones that got away. <laughs> I'd say you did, man. Look at this, guys. That is incredible. And a huge grouper, too. Yeah, nice What's up, Allie? How is it having? How is it having your dad to be a captain, Alice Adler? It's great. <laughs> um, lots of cool sights. Lots of opportunities. Um, you know, just a lot of people to meet. A lot of places to see. It's a great thing. That's awesome. Something dude. to be really proud of for sure. Very, very cool. Yes. Well, hopefully we'll see you again soon. I'm um, for sure. Definitely. All right. I try to get out here as much oh as I God. can. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, guys. So uh, these guys just finished fishing on the Dauntless with Captain Jim Hendricks. And uh, what's your names, guys? I'm Scott. I'm Ken. Hey, guys. How you doing? Very good. Awesome. Awesome day of fishing. So um, I heard you guys are from out of town. This is your first time down in Buddy Mary's? Yes, from Houston, Texas. And I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Excellent. Well, welcome. Thanks. So, how was your day? What did you guys catch? Oh, we had a great day. We caught a mutton snapper, a big, big yellowtail, uh, some grouper, uh, had a nice sailfish that we fought for a while. Uh, we had a great day. Jim put us on the fish. We had a, had a real busy day catching. Absolutely. Busy. That's awesome. What did you guys think about Jim's boat? Very nice. Clean boat, fast boat, dry boat. <laughs> Runs that's, real dry. Yeah, that's important. When we battled a little bit of waves today, stayed bone dry on it. That's awesome, man. And were you guys using live bait to catch the sailfish? Yes, filters. Is that your first time ever catching a sailfish? Uh, second time. Awesome. And what, what did you think? It was exciting, real exciting. <laughs> Jim saw it. We didn't. He saw it, threw right to it. We got an instant hookup. Bought it for 10, 15 minutes, got a nice release on it. Wow, that's incredible. So you guys actually saw it, it was in pretty shallow oh, water Oh yeah, then? he gave us a show. Wow, man, that's freaking awesome. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, hey, we appreciate you guys coming down and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. Sure, oh, we, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely uh, really uh, recommend Jim for any, any kind of fishing you want to do down here. Great time. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Right. You're welcome. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Appreciate you. Dinner and a show. Thanks again. <laughs> so I just walked up on Nick and uh, they had a really good day today. Oh yeah. Beautiful queen snapper. We got swordfish. That was Todd's first keeper. He caught a small one before on the water damage this summer, but we got a keeper store. We let one go. We got queen snapper. We got a really nice yellow edge grouper. He's already cut up and filleted though. This guy right here, he's in a rock band. That's Visit Neptune right there. Riley Buchanan, correct? Right. Make note of that. If he goes famous, you just remember I took him fishing before he was big time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about your day, guys. Jeff, you fun? We had an awesome time. Definitely. Great day. Great day out on the boat. Yeah, Captain Nick was the best. And where are you guys from? We're from Tampa, Florida. From Tampa. And uh, was this your first time ever catching a swordfish? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Catch it and keep it, yes. Oh, that's <laughs> Kenny over there, you guys. Kenny does a lot of the bill artwork on the bills. Hey, right. look, it's Kenny. Kenny. That's the guy I talk to. You got yeah. a bill with you? I don't. I got one in my truck. I'll grab it out in a couple minutes. Oh, there's one hanging up in there, too. Yeah, but I got one in the back of my truck we can grab. That's Kenny, you guys. If you want to get the bill preserved, that's the man to talk to. We do, Kenny. Uh, Good. Who caught it? Teamwork between the family. Teamwork. That's Teamwork. the way I like it. We got on the boat. That's the most important thing. That's right. Finally got on the boat for us. We got a perfect spot at our beach house on the wall for this. The swordfish. Hey. And then we got the the, uh, the grouper. We're going to get that stuff. To Look at that nice yellow edge grouper we got, Kenny. Yeah. Beauty. To make oh. a mic one like that. I yeah. like it stuffed with uh, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. That's nice stuff. Yeah, I'm on a day, I know. I like to sneak up on this guy. Yeah, I don't what? know. I'm on a day, I'm on. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, you know. We had a good Thanksgiving day. We made some jerk chicken yesterday and some rice and peas. And we had some turkey and some stuffies and some other stuff. Real good food yesterday, you know? Real yeah. good thing. 
Yeah, it one. was better than the turkey. The, the, what did you mean? Money, 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 no, no, no. Yo, yo, you know? You want to drink chicken and fire, you know? Oh, it was delicious, man. Yeah. So, I go on. Everything good? Everything's good. What are you doing? I want to just get a couple snap you know? So, I'm just going to cut out the belly and skin them up and things. I'll keep them snap fire whole. I'm going to cook them, but I'm going to cook them whole. I'm cleaning them up and keep them whole. I have some fillet too, you know? Now, listen, yeah. I met some of your friends last week. I mean, they said they're your friends. They, they said that they eat the eyeballs. Is, is that, that's crazy. Yo. Why do you eat the eyeballs? Sounds All disgusting. Right. Regin, you see, yo. I don't know, yo, but I can't explain it. But in Jamaica, they, once the fish is skilled and the fish inside is clean and fresh, my boy, yo, everything. All right, this is what they do. They, they eat the fish head, man. Like the fish, they'll fry it. They'll fry the fish and the head will fry to a crispy fry and they'll chew it up, chew it up. And like, and then when you get to the eyeball, you just go like this. Hold on and then you spit it out. Okay, what do you do? <laughs> when you, you get do? to the eyeball, you just you feel the eyeball in your mouth. You go feel the eyeball in your mouth. And you just go like this and suck off the eyeball and just and spit out a little ball. You can feel that little pebble in your mouth with the eyeball after the meat comes off. I did it before growing up in Jamaica, you know. I did it. I don't know. I won't do it no more. <laughs> but okay. people do. I'm never eating fish eyeballs. Yo, we eat the fish head, even the eyeball. No lie, man. Nah, liar. Yo, yo, you see the nah, liar. You see the eye. All right, I'm gonna do it one day and show you. I'm gonna do it one day and show you. One day I'm gonna get a snapper. I don't wanna see that. You don't wanna see it? You're gonna have to blindfold me and hit me with it. Yo, so, I don't, yo, it's, you. if you go to Jamaica, you're gonna see it. People eating their fish, they're still gonna eat their whole fish. And they eat it. When you leave, when you finish, I just, they look a long bone and still leave off of the fish. Bridget, let me tell you something, man. We don't play, man. You see all them little part of the fish, yeah? And crispy, you just bite it up. It bite and it just got that because it marinate up and, and it tastes bridging, it does taste good, yo. A fish, you know? It whole, all right. And the, the other fish that may eat the whole fish, right? Fish eat the whole. Other, so, why we'll stop we from eating whole fish? Unless once it clean up and the scales come off. We can't eat every part of the fish, bridging. That me say, you know? But the eyeball thing, people, me know people going to think it weird, but, but to be honest with you, man, I'm not going to lie, yo. I, I did it myself before. Growing up, growing up as you know, as a teenager, and they eat fish or fry fish, eat fish, and I don't know because sometimes you know you have the poverty in those country and people, you know, we don't really have a lot going around, so we have to just use what we have, you know. I don't know if that's the real reason, but I grew up in Jamaica, I see people doing it. I see, you know, my grandparents, my parents doing it. So everybody, I tell you right now, when yo, it, it's weird, but <laughs> Bridget, I eat fish eyeball before. I eat it. <laughs> I'm a naga liar. I know how it tastes. I know how it feels in your mouth. I know everything about it. I can eat a fish eyeball when you fry it and show you on camera. This man's if got you the want. Vision. If you want to be to That's do it. That's why he's so enlightened. We just Wait. need to eat more eyeballs. Yo, you saw me? I say, hey, trust me. If you eat more fish head, eat more fish eyeball, you'll be as smart as Jamaica Mike, and that's going to be the roughest, toughest. Why do you think I'm the roughest, toughest Jamaican? Because we eat fish head and we eat fish eyeball. That's it. It make you rough and tough. You see me? Bless up. Well, I'm, my hands are kind of, you know, messy, but oh, yeah. You know I, I got the fish on my hands, that's why, but you know, that's why I better <laughs> give you a pound. All right, let's do a pound. See, fish eyeball. Fish head, it is the best thing to eat. <laughs> I'm just... All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the dock walk. That is a helicopter landing on tea table key. Um, keep an eye out. We're going to do an episode coming up soon with Jamaica Mike and some more eyeballs. All right. Talk to you guys next time.